اللہ ان کو علم سے نوازے ان سے اور خدمت دے اور میں دعوت دیتا ہوں مولانا سید عماد الدین قادری حامد پاشا سے کہ وہ اپنے ذریعہ خیالات سے ہمیں مستفید فرمائے تھا الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين خاتم النبيين رحمة للعالمين وعلى آله الطيبين الطاهرين وعلى أصحابه الغرب الميامين أما بعد فقال الله عز وجل في كتابه المجيد والفرقان الحميد بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد من الله على المؤمنين إذ بعث فيهم رسوله إلى آخره صدق الله العظيم صدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لبنا الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين جارة بسنة في فنرامي باقية شاید ایک یا دو بھائی یہاں پر جو بلکل ہی انگریز دان ہیں تو میں تھوڑا اردو انگلیس میں اور انشاءاللہ پانچ میں باتوں سمجھ لوں تو سب سے پہلے الحمدللہ we have gathered here to obviously celebrate the مولد النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم and as you know this is one of the expressions of our love for رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم as it is when we pray, when we fast, when we and do all the good deeds, these are expressions and, and there are several hadiths which talk about how Sahaba expressed their love for Rasulullah One of the questions that Imam Suyuti was asked and he captured that in his book Khasais uh, al-Kubra He says, someone asked me, uh, Adam ala nabina ala salam, he uh, is masjood al-malaika he, he had the malaika make sajda for him I mean that shows how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a high rank. Obviously, uh, for those who, of you who would already know, and I'm sure most of you know that uh, that sajda that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded Adam ala nabiyyina alayhi salam was uh, sajda, obviously ulama had to uh, uh, clarify what kind of sajda that was because obviously we know what sajda is and a sajda is haram. Well, that sajda that Adam alayhi salam, uh, the malaika performed uh, on Adam alayhi salam was sajda ta'zimi. And the other kind of sajda is sajda ibadi. Sajda ibadi has always been prohibited. Uh, it is shirk. There is no question, there is no doubt about it. However, until the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all the previous uh, sharia, shari all the previous regulations in Islam, in Islam meaning uh, the predecessors of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for them the sajda ta'zimi was permissible. And Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he made the haram, so therefore now sajda ta'zimi, sajda ibadi, they're both prohibited. But the question is still there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had the malaika perform sajda ta'zimi to Adam alayhi salam. So how do we then claim that Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is Sayyidul Anbiya wa al-Mursaleen. He is the master of all the Anbiya. So Imam Sayyidi then clarified that in his book. He says, you see the verse in the Quran, it says, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما That singular verse captures all of the high ranks, addresses all of the maqamat of all the Anbiya and supersedes the maqam of Sayyidina Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم And he says he does that by two parts, in two ways One is, he says, is the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Unlike when he commanded the Malaika, فَاسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ He commands Malaika him to, uh, to do the sajda themselves. He commands the Malaika to do the sajda to Adam, obviously expressing their uh, the dignity, the, the maqam of Sayyidina Adam. But in this particular ayah, Allah begins by saying, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتُهُ Allah Himself and commands the Malaika that they send their salutations on Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Allah Himself enjoining in sending the salutations to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And He says the second part of this is that that hukum was a singular hukum. Just to do it. Just perform the prostration to Adam. One time it never happened after that. Allah, but when He commands the believers, Inna Allah wa Malaikatahu yusalluna ala Nabi, 
He says it in a way, grammatically, if you look at it, it is timurari. It is present continuous. Meaning, this commandment isn't a singular commandment. It isn't for a one-time order. But this commandment is from the time when this ayah was revealed. That every person who claims to be a Muslim, a believer, know that Allah and the Malaika and all of the believers till the Qiyamah will be sending salutations to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this expresses the rank of Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then people talk about the celebration and how it is bid'ah and how it is an innovation. Well, understand, again, not going into too much detail, very fast. Uh, let your thinking caps be open and capture that and then we can talk about it later, inshallah ta'ala. It's a clear hadith. We said, Man sanna fil Islam sunnatan hasana. Whoever starts a new sunnah. This is the words of Sunnah Sosa Okama Qal. That they get the reward for it, and they get the reward for those who follow after him. And not only that, this reward is not taken away from them, and the others get the reward too. This is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obviously, when others initiate a bad bid'ah, there's a, a sin for uh, there's a azab and, and a sin for it. People talk about the Salaf al Salihin. Salaf al Salihin. The first three generations. Imam Shafi is amongst the first three generations. You see what he says, Imam Bayhaqi in his, in his uh, book uh, um, uh, captures that. He says that Imam Shafi he said it. And he says that Imam Shafi he says that the bid'ah, mahmuda, there are two kinds. So right off the bat, he is not considering bid'ah by default as something that is bad, but understanding that bid'ah are of multiple kinds. And he says, the one that are the acceptable kind, you have two forms in it. Bid'a Mahmuda. One is, it has to have asl. It has to have an origin in, uh, in Quran and Sunnah. And the other is that it does not violate the Sharia of Muhammad. So, khalas, with this I end up by the my talk, inshallah. And if it is already 11 o'clock, I will stop right there. So, Alhamdulillah, I have about eight more minutes. So, Asal, yes, there's asal in, uh, uh, in the Quran and Sunnah. There's asal in Quran and there's asal in Sunnah. There's original in Quran, there's original source, the starting point in Quran and Sunnah. Quran, Sayyidina Isa ala Nabi wa sallam says it very clearly, and Allah captures it for us. We are not the Ummah of Isa, but Allah is capturing the word of Isa ala Nabi wa sallam for the Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Well, there is some guidance for those who want, who, who, who want to ponder. Salamun alayya yawma wulidtu That peace and blessings be upon me on the day that I was born. Allah Akbar. So we know that being born for important personalities, that day itself, Salamun alayya yawma wulidtu That day I was born. Allah Akbar. So days when important things happen, including the days when important personalities, chosen men and women of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are born, are considered or uh, as a very important time, as an important day. And so we get this source from the Quran, and there are many other sources. And Rasulullah also fasted on these days. He's fasted, when he was asked, why do you fast? He fasted on the Mondays because it was the day that he was born. So we have the Asal, and we have that there's no violation. The Sahaba did that. The sahaba would gather, and they would do zikr, and they would uh, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'mah, for the great gift. Manna alina bika, they said when they, when they were inquired, why are you sitting in the circle? They said, we thank Allah, nad'u Allah, wa, wa nahmadu ala ma, ala ma hadana lil iman. We, we, we supplicate to Allah, we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are thanking Allah, we are praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the gift of iman that Allah has given us. Wa manna alina bika, and the great gift that Allah has bestowed upon us through you, Ya Rasulullah. This is what the Sahaba did. Rasulullah did not command them. Rasulullah did not tell them. It was all on their own. And Rasulullah says, you know what, is that really the truth? Is that why you're doing this? Ah uh, Allah, uh, is that why you're sitting here? And then they said, Ya, ya Rasulullah, yes, absolutely. That's exactly why we're sitting here, Rasulullah, in this circle. And what we said, Rasulullah says in, in his beautiful mercy that Allah had uh, bestowed to the, to the Ummah through him, is that don't think that I am accusing you of lying. I'm not challenging what you're saying. But only asking, and I'm verifying that you really did what you said you did, is because Jibreel alayhi salam came to me from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and shares to me that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is boasting about you, is proud, proud about you.
about you amongst the malaika for what you're doing right now. Allah Akbar. So if we are gathered here, zikrullah, manaqib, na'ad, nasheed, there's nothing different from what the Sahaba did. And therefore, so therefore, this is a sunnah to Sahaba. Sahaba did it? Yes, absolutely, Sahaba did it. And when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accepts it, he didn't say it, he didn't do it, but when something happens and he accepts it, that becomes hadith. And the ulama are here, mashayikh are here, and they know that this is hadith taqreeri. Look it up. What is hadith taqreeri? Something that happens, an event, whatever happens in front of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he accepts it, it does not uh, stop it, then that becomes hadith, that becomes sunnah. So now when you ask somebody, or somebody asks you, did the sahaba did it? Did Rasulullah did it? You say, yeah, this is sunnah of sahaba, and this is sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وما علينا إلا البلاغ وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين